How would you assess the earnings period so far? It's been very good, right? We've had 76% of companies beat earnings. And what I think is interesting is if you take out the Magnificent Seven, which their earnings are going to be up 60% for the year, that's insane. Um, then you take energy on the other side that's down 20%. Their earnings just because oil prices have come down a lot in the last year. And then you just look at the other nine sectors. They've grown about 1.4% year over year, which means outside of tech, outside of energy, the rest of the market, the rest of the economy, uh, if you look at those other stocks, they're starting to do well. Um, and I think that's the one thing you hear a lot about, how we have this narrow rally right now. But if you look at the broad-based uh, you know, indexes and companies right now, they're actually doing pretty good. And they're earnings expectations are going up. So I think this has been one of my thesis is like broaden out your exposure because the rest of the market's doing well also. Where do you, where do you want to broaden out? Um, I, I think energy absolutely you want to be there. Um, if you look at valuations, it's still extremely cheap. Uh, if you look at financials, they're actually almost at an all-time record high. No one talks about that right now. Mm. Um, if you look at um, if you look at materials, so you want to buy banks. Oh, I buy banks here absolutely. I mean, if you look at the actual valuations, they're cheap. Insider buying has been big, especially in those regional banks where everyone's worried about commercial loans. A lot of that's already priced in. So there's a lot of value in the market in general when you get out of the mega cap. Eight uh, or seven. So I think at this point, I've been, you know, I've been kind of banging the table about that. I think that.